Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is weird from 1967. Erie Publications. There's a close-up of the cover. Told in new chilling picto vision. Tells of terror, shock, suspense from worlds beyond. And then there's the famous Crypt Keeper on the inside. They always said the little short vignettes. And then here's the title page, the table of contents. <clears throat> this one had Terror in the Attic, Doom at the Wheel, Dying is So Contagious, Fiends from the Crypt, Pit of Horror, Cult of the Cruel, and the Corpse Who Killed. And then there's that wonderful splash panel on the side that, that they all had. And this is from April 1967. There's Fiends from the Crypt. That's that classic art. So some of this was out of the the Iger studio. Some of it was Ajax Farrell. And uh, whenever the uh, man who was doing this, and I'm sure you guys know his name, the guy who founded, I'll think of it in a minute, the man who founded the uh, Erie Publications, he took these old horror stories from 1950s comics and he republished them in black and white format so that it, they would escape the uh, the comics code. They wouldn't be affected by the comics code. <clears throat> and that's a whole story in and of itself, how the Comics Code Authority came into being after Frederick J. Wortham's book, Seduction of the Innocent. There was the big scare about comic books causing juvenile delinquency, at least the horror comics. So anyway, they came back with these in black and white to uh, get around having to do the comics code. That's the second story there, Dying is So Contagious. Foss, F-A-S-S. -S. That's the name of the guy who owned this company. Melvin or Marvin Foss. He ended up retiring to uh, Ocala, Florida, where he had a gun shop. And I lived in Ocala for a while, but I, I didn't know that he was there at the time. And I sure didn't know that he had been the owner of the company that made these. I'd have gone in there and talked to him if I had known that. But yeah, his name was Marvin or Melvin Foss, and he was an interesting character. Erie Publications was an interesting company. No, 